so the Texans just lost to the Titans 17 to 13 and I'm not counting those extra seven that Henry got cuz fuck you Henry and you're gonna regret doing that because the next season when the Texans are fully healthy they're gonna sweep the Titans and they're gonna blow them out both times because this Titans team is not good at all this Titans team is absolutely the worst 8 and 4 team I have ever seen in my life like words cannot explain how bad this team is like you barely beat a Texans team that was already injured and that got even more injured in the game <laughs> that is pathetic and to make things worse you let Tom Savage throw for 350 yards on you? Yeah, th th this team is pathetic. They are going nowhere in the playoffs. They're going to sneak into the playoffs at 10-6. and six, And they're going nowhere. That's what the Titans are going to do. They're not a good team. Anyways, let's get into, you know, the actual game. You know, I'm not too mad at the Texans because, I mean... What what can you do, man? Like, some of your star players are out, and then your starters go out, and Jeff Allen has to play left tackle and that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, you can't expect much. The fact that the Texans were even competitive should not really say much about the Texans. It should really say more about the Titans and the type of team they are, and that's not a very good one. So, Tom Savage, I thought, played pretty damn well yes he was playing one of the worst secondaries in the NFL but you gotta give the guy credit where it's due yes he threw that interception at the end but what he was doing man he only had one receiver and I say one receiver because Thompson is a special teamer he's not really an actual receiver and he had one tight end Anderson everyone else was just a bunch of running backs and now let's get into the run game the the run game just wasn't really there in the first half the second half started getting going a bit better but not really where it should be offensive line despite being reshuffled and all over the place I thought they did a pretty good job Jeff Allen really surprised me with the way he played at left tackle up until the point where you got three false starts in a row which brings me to the play right after that Tom Savage threw an absolute dot to Steven Anderson. I mean, Tom Savage threaded the needle. It was a beautiful pass on 4th and 19, I want to say it was. And Anderson came up with it, man. Like, it was just the guy, dude. Anderson, we got to re-sign him, man. The, the guy's our best tight end. Now, let's talk about the tight ends. For Durowitz, man. He can't catch shit. I don't know what's wrong with him. And to make things worse, he got another concussion, which is his third on the year. So, yeah, that's kind of concerning. Really concerning, actually. Uh, but Steven Anderson, man, the guy pretty much caught everything that went his way. The guy is a beast. We have to re-sign him. I think he's our best tight end receiving-wise because I do still like Fedora Woods run blocking. Even though the run wasn't there all game, but yeah. I think they need to utilize Anderson more. Because the guy's a mismatch. He's a weapon. I think he's realistically our second best pass catcher. And I don't mean receiver, because what Will Fuller does is insane. But I just mean like, as a person that can catch the ball, he's number two on the team behind DeAndre Hopkins. And the receivers, man. DeAndre Hopkins did DeAndre Hopkins things. DeAndre Hopkins feasted on this terrible Titan secondary. I think he had like 8 receptions, 80 yards. It's insane. The guy was... They couldn't stop him. But there was other guys open. Which brings me to Braxton Miller. Braxton Miller unfortunately got hurt. But you guys know I absolutely hate Braxton Miller. I hate him. I thought it was a wasted pick. But... After last game against Baltimore, he was finding ways to get open against a pretty good secondary. And this game, he did so again. 
Yes, I would think it's a bad secondary, but I mean consistency. That's what Braxton Miller needs. He needs to find ways to get open, and he's been doing so. So who knows? Maybe Braxton Miller is not a lost cause. He's out with a concussion. I I'm not sure if he'll play next game, but we need to see what we got with him. And on defense, uh, I thought they played a decent game. I don't think they did all that bad except when they would run outside uh, Jamil President and Kamalu would always lose contain. I thought Clowney had a pretty bad first half. Kind of picked it up in the second half a little bit better. But yeah, secondary was meh. But I think, again, this has to do more with how bad of a team the Titans are rather than how good of a team the Texans are right now. This team is just depleted by injuries. And this defense actually held... The Titans to, what well, I want to say they said 60 yards in the fourth quarter when it mattered, of course, before Derrick Henry decided to be a little bitch. And that little bitch is going to pay next season. You just wait, Derrick Henry. You just wait. You just sealed your fate for your team next season. This Texans team, though, I mean, they fought hard. You can't really be pissed at them for that performance, I mean, your whole team's on the fucking IR, injured, can't really do much, really can't, and I have no doubt in my mind that if Will Fuller, if all those other receivers didn't get hurt this game, the Texans would have beat these bums, because that's what the Titans are, they're bums, they're not a good team, I'm gonna keep on saying it this whole video, because that's just, at this point, I just feel like it's a fact, like, how do you beat these Texans by... Four points, like that's pathetic. Oh, and another guy, Jonathan Joseph, also got hurt. So there's that a shoulder injury. Um, Fairbairn, I believe, is someone we should really talk about. The guy is inconsistent as they come. Like, I think he started off the season with 12 consecutive field goals made, but. In recent weeks, like the past four weeks, he's missed, what, four field goals? He missed one against the Rams, which really wouldn't have mattered. He missed one against the Colts, which really would have mattered because then the Texans would just have to kick a field goal to beat the Colts or tie the Colts and go to overtime and probably beat those bum Colts. So, Fairbairn, this week, he missed two easy field goals that would have Gave the Texans the lead, and Tom Savage was driving the ball down the field, and they would have just kicked the field goal, and they would have won the game. But Fairbairn missed two field goals, and I think instead of blaming Savage, because I'm pretty sure that's where all the blame is going, I think the blame should be towards Fairbairn. Fairbairn cost us a game, guys. Like, or a, se a second game he cost us actually, because those field goals. If you really look back at it, they would have been big. Those were six points off the board. We lost by four points. So, yeah, I really think we should really talk more about Fairbairn rather than bash Savage, even though Savage had a really good game, except for that pick. I mean... Not much else is left to be said besides the fact that I really think we should extend Bill O'Brien. The fact that he was able to drive the ball down the field and put up three points, even though Fairbairn missed another and Savage scored the interception. But he was able to drive the ball down the field multiple times with his depleted offense. A reshuffled O line, only one real wide receiver, only one tight end, and then Alfred Blue got a concussion late in the game, so. There was not much there. Like, there was not much to work with. The fact that the Texans were able to do this to the Titans should really concern the Titans fans because if your team can't beat a team that's depleted by injuries, then you're going to have some real problems. Like, huge problems. It should really... This game, guys, should really tell you where the Titans are at and where the Texans are at and that's the Texans are still far ahead of these Titans 
The Titans might be 8-4, and four, the Texans might be 4-8, and eight, but the Texans are still clearly the better team. Add in Deshaun Watson, add in Will Fuller, add in Braxton Miller, what's his name, Bruce Ellington, add in Chris Clark, add in J.J. Watt, add in Whitney Merciless, add in Jonathan Joseph, um, pretty sure some other, Christian Covington, add in Christian Covington, someone that's overlooked, and tell me the result of that game. I'll tell you, if you add those guys in, you get 57-14 to 14 part 2. And I'm not even trying to over-exaggerate. That's the difference in talent between these both teams, and that's the difference in coaching between these both teams, and that's pretty much it. Like, the Texans could have won this game, it should have won this game, but at the end of the day, Fairbairn cost us a game. So, that being said, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.